Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Google Cloud Load Balancers and its types. So let's get into the video. So in a load balancer, there are many load balancers. We'll talk about those things. Okay, so we can understand why we use what type of load balancers we have. Load balancer. Okay, so load balancer, basically, there are two types of load balancers, broadly classifying. What are those? They are global load balancer, as the name indicates, global load balancer, global IP address, which can, okay, why we need a global load balancers? Okay, global load balancer help you to distribute the traffic from a multiple region. Okay, so it, it actually uh, forwards traffic to multiple regions. Multiple regions. So it can forward the traffic to multiple regions. Okay. So where does the if you ask me where does the global load balancer reside? The answer is it resides in a so we have GCP uh, locations. So if you ask me GCP locations here, you have this edge point of presence, network edge location rights. So there are 148 network edge location. Your services like global load balancer, your um, D, uh, DNS, CDNs, and a cloud armor resides here on these edge locations. Okay, your global resources. If the user connects from a uh, junior Rio, he connects from there. If a user connects from India, he connects to that uh, global load balancer. If it's from uh, Melbourne, it connects from that load balancer. Correct. Okay. So uh, that is what they are. That's the reason they can handle any amount of traffic. They can litigate DDoS attacks and other things. Okay. Global load balancer forward traffic to multiple region. And you can see global to multiple traffic. They support both IP version 4 and IP version 6. Support both IP version 4 and IP version 6. Okay. And they support only TCP. Supports only TCP protocols. Only support TCP protocols. And they are obviously a global resource as we see here. You only see global resources. Right. Then we have a regional load balancer. So as I say, it should be within the same uh, region plus same VPC. As we indicate, it should be in the same VPC. It can distribute the load uh, within the same region and the same VPC. So the right word, forward traffic, forward traffic within the same region and same VPC. Right. <coughs> That's what we have here in a region. Okay, we have. So it support only IP version four as of now. Supports only IP version four. IP version four. Okay. Uh, so it support only IP version four. It support uh, any TCP slash UDP protocols. Protocols. Okay, support only IP version 4 and also it captures uh, client IP. So, why I'm saying this information? The, the straight question if I want to support IP version 6, I'll choose a global load balancer. Okay, you want to sub, you want to distribute your traffic to multiple regions, I'll select a global load balancer. If I want to distribute and uh, traffic on a single region, I'll go with a single this thing. I want to support, uh, I want to capture IP address, client IP address, I go with a Regional load balancer. I want to support UDP traffic. I can. I have to go with the regional load balancer. Straightforward, right? So in this way, you are in examination. You can think like this: What is the given traffic they are asking? And uh, is it a UDP or TCP? If it is a UDP, I got the first hint. I should use a regional load balancer. I can. I can eliminate the global load balancer there, right? So once the load balancer are here, this is there are two three questions on load balancer. You can just segregate like this. It is quite easy. Then uh, what traffic? Okay, 
So we'll say about traffic. So in the traffic, we can easily understand. If there's a traffic on port, okay, 80, 80, 80, 43, it is, okay, we have this. Then we have any traffic, like what? Your TCP traffic. You have any traffic here. If you have a port and protocol like this, you have any traffic, you have this. So you have any UDP slash TCP port, port from 0 to 65,535 port numbers. Okay, 65,535, we can use this, the traffic here. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you want to have a deeper dive, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Google Professional Cloud Architect certification and demo. So all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash gcppro02. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now. Select an event date. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on proceed ahead. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to save this link on the extreme right and add it to your calendars. And I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.